Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. In today's episode of Rust Electricity 101, the component guide, we're going to cover the wind turbine component. Wind turbine's a level 2 component. It's not a default blueprint, so you're going to have to look in locked elite or higher tier crates, or perhaps on the oil rig or heavy scientists to find this item. The easiest place to locate the wind turbine is in the bandit camp for just 500 scrap. It is of course craftable if you have the blueprint using a level 2 workbench and these components. 1500 wood, 30 high qual, 3 gears, and 10 sheet metal. So if you're one of those folks who love to throw away sheet metal, it might be useful now. The wind turbine has some placement rules. You do need to be almost uh, one full foundation away from a wall to place it. As you can see here, it's about two-thirds. When you place it, you'll see there's an opening to the left. That's why, where you'll find the output handle to connect your power. And when you place it in its default rotation, you're just going to see that the blade is facing away from you. You can rotate this when you place it. That's mostly to make the opening where you connect more accessible. The wind turbine is more reliable than solar power, and it's cheaper than operating a generator on low-grade fuel. The wind turbine can provide anywhere from zero up to 150 units of power, depending on how well the wind is blowing at any one time. And you'll find that the most significant influence on how much it outputs is the altitude at which it's placed. I've created a small demonstration of that here. There's a wind turbine down at the surface, one at nine floors up and one at 19 floors up, the highest available maximum stable build height on a vanilla server. Connected them all each to one of these counters in pass-through mode and you can see there's a fairly significant difference between how much the output. The one at the surface is putting out 51. That's just based on how much the wind is blowing in the game right now. You'll see the one at half height puts out 88 almost 40 units more than down at the surface. And as a general experience, that's what you'll see, is a pretty significant improvement, 30 to 40 units more at half, half height than at the surface. And at maximum build height, you're far more likely to see those higher numbers up close to 140 or 150. Right now, the maximum height wind turbine's putting out 120. It's losing one on the way down because of a component I had to use to extend the cable all the way down this far. Regardless, if you have the ability to place a turbine up higher, you're definitely going to get a lot better performance. Another thing to note about the placement is that they do need to be about a foundation apart from each other. You'll see here, there's one foundation, about one and a third. Oops, there we go. And in fact, they're so close here, it makes it look like their blades are running into each other. Watch out for building around these turbines. If you place a wall that is three wall height or above anywhere in the vicinity of these, they'll stop turning. That's effectively them interpreting nearby tall walls as blocking the wind. There is some rumor that the direction in which the blades face affect the output. That is not true tested this extensively and we've been unable to find a case anywhere on a vanilla server where the direction in which the blades are facing have any substantive impact on how much they output. However, you do have to watch out putting them close to other objects uh, that are three or more wall height because that definitely will block them and stop them from operating. So don't do that. If you happen to be returning and seeing this as an update, there are a few changes from the original wind turbine. First of all, they don't rotate into the wind anymore. The wind doesn't vary in direction to make them spin, so it's a little more boring aesthetically, but it's a little more consistent and easier to manage. You'll also notice that the blades always turn at the same speed regardless of what their performance is, so there's no visual indicator that they're outputting more power or less. But they will stop if they're blocked or putting out zero power because there's no wind. The other thing you'll notice is that their placement is a lot easier. It used to be that you had to keep these two or more foundations away from each other or any two or more high walls. And now they tend to let you place a lot closer to each other, which visually is a little odd because it looks like they're running into each other. But hey, for gameplay's sake, it does make it easier that you can place them a little closer together. 
Wind turbines are an awesome object to use in a power system or circuit uh, when you're using them in combination with batteries. Because the wind can vary, it's nice to have a battery to give you consistent output and take advantage of those peak winds to charge your battery when you are uh, not needing as much power or when the your other sources may not be as reliable, such as using uh, solar power at night, you'll lose that output. They're also cheaper to operate with when you don't have to worry about the cost of the low-grade fuel for a generator. So there you have it, one of the more uh, useful and higher output electrical devices in the game, the wind turbine.